YouTube, Wagwan. Uh, welcome back to Beat Making Friday. Um, so today now we're just going to make a beat from um, a loop. Um, and you don't know where I go, I go to the genius. Um, the genius card pack and make a loop, all right? So, first thing first, let's do this. All right, let's, um, I already found a loop that I'm going to use, um, which is this loop right here. Hold on. Is it called? Uh, I think this is it. So let's see. Let's hear it. All right. So yeah, we're going to use that loop and that loop is, uh, G minor and it is, um, what is it? A hundred, hundred BPM. So I got to change the BPM up here from 120 to a hundred. All right. And that's the loop we're going to use. So let me make sure the loop is up here. Yeah. So we're going to use that loop. Um, and then we're just going to add the drums that I did. Um, the last beat that you guys heard. So the beat, I believe, was on Wednesday. Yeah, so we're going to use those drums, all right? So we have, the, we have the loop, and then, so I normally, I can make a beat from scratch and everything like that, but what if someone um, d doesn't know how to play the keyboard, um, they don't know chords, or they're just starting out and they want to make a beat, um, they can they can drag in loops into Logic Pro X, all right, and make a beat. Um, so a lot of people gonna say they wanna see how like me making the beat, um, but I think I did a couple videos doing that. So we're gonna make a beat out of the loop today, beat making Friday, all right. And make sure you guys put the comments below. It's all right. Any comment is good, you know. For me, any comment is good. All right. So this is the loop. We're going to turn that down a little bit to about 6 d dB. There we go. All right, so that is the, that is the loop we're using. And then we're going to go to Import Logic Projects. So remember, you can import your own projects that you just did. Um, and yeah, you can go from there. So let me see. Um, I believe it's called Slide Rhythm. And I'm just going to import the, the um, drum pattern that I did before. And um, so we want the reverse crash. We want the crash. And we want the snare. And we want the kick. And we want the 808. We want the same 808 from Sublab. So this 808 um, from Sublab we're going to use, all right? I think uh, there was a comment, not a comment, there was a question on which 808 I was using. So we're going to go through it. This 808 right here is from, um, obviously, from Sublab, and it's called the ZZ. But I still go message that person and tell them what it's called, but this is called the ZZ. All right, the ZZ808. But what we're going to do with this 808 now is we know that it's in G minor. So we're going to put it in G minor. Hold on. Press P because somebody comment and say, can you use shortcut? So P, we'll bring up piano roll. Ah, uh, For the person who, who, who helped me out, thank you. Thank you very much. So yeah, that, that is all the, the bass sound. All right, hold on. There we go. I right, so we want it to be G minor. So let's go up. All right, G minor right there. I'm just going to put this here too. Good. All right, now we have the bass. Take this out and drag it over here like this. And then now we have to work on it. So 
we have the loop. That would be the intro right there. This is going to be the chorus. And then this will be the verse. So let's do this. This is going to be the verse. All right. So we'll just drag this over again. Actually, no. What we're going to do for the verse, I always do this. We're going to duplicate the track. So it's Command D, duplicate that track, right? And then we we'll want the loop. We we'll want to drag the loop down. <clears throat> so we're going to drag the loop down to this track right here. And then we're going to EQ it. So we're going to put that EQ on that. So we can do that right now. So you go here to um, all the effects and you add EQ right there. So now with this EQ, we want to we want to bring this to like 500, 500k right here. Hopefully you guys can see on the screen. So bring it to 500 right there, <clears throat> and then we'll gradually bring it up. So you can use. You can use your mouse right here and then you gradually drag it up like this. Is what what which is what I do. Or you can leave it there for a while and then you can bring it all the way up. Um like a rapid sound. Make sure it's rapid, like faster. But I do it slowly, bring it up slowly until the end of the loop. So you guys can watch that. But to, to get that effect now, we're gonna go to where it says read. Right here. Oh man, you guys can't see. All right. You're going to go over to all the way over to the left where it says read. You're going to click that and then you're going to you're going to turn that to touch. Hopefully you guys saw that it's just above the other camera right there, right up above the other camera frame. Um and you turn it to touch. Now you can do the effect. So now we're going to we're going to do the effect right here with just this audio. All right, so let's go. Hold on. Make sure. It, there you go. Let's loop it right here. All right, now we're ready. Let's go. And you can gradually bring it up. So that's the effect it's gonna have um, in the in the um, in the verse. So that's how that's the effect it's gonna have in the verse, and then we can go from there. So the beat pretty much made because I made this this drum pattern already for the last beat, right? So we're gonna listen what we have so far, and for this one now though, for this loop up here. I want to put, um, uh, I think I want to put a space design on it. So we want a reverb on this. So we can turn it down a little bit right there. And then we want to take out a little bit of the volume right there. Let's hear that. that we're going to add some more stuff to it now so we're going to import logic project again the project slide i want to put the hi-hat all right so let's get the hi-hat in there let's add that 
So we add the hi hat. Remember, we're using the same drum pattern, you know. And now we're gonna use a different Vox sound. So we're gonna add another track right here, create a track, and this is gonna be the Vox sound. So let's take that out. This is gonna be the Vox sound. So we're gonna look for a Vox. Make sure you label your tracks. And we're gonna use Arcade for this. So once you open up Arcade, um, right away, I go straight to um, Hooked. Right here. No matter how you make music, just make music. I just have to put that out there. No matter how you make it, just, just make it. All right, so now we're going to search for a Vox sound, but we want to put this in G minor. So I want to say it's G, G minor. Or is it G flat minor? Let me make sure really quick. Um, so the loop is in, I want to make sure. Let me make sure it says it up here. Definitely want to go back and make sure that we have it in the right key. So let's see, is it in G minor? No, it just says G minor right here. It just said G minor. So we're all right with that. So we're going to get the Vox sound. Um, if you want to preview it, you can go to window and um, go to show musical, musical typing, and you can use a keyboard. So look. We, we, we could try my heart. And that is too loud. So let's turn on the Vox sound until we find the Vox sound that we want. So now we're going to search. Let's keep searching. Miss you, huh? You feel like you. What if we fell in? I don't wanna. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think we use this enough time, but I kind of like this sample. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we're going to use that. Um, and I might get bored of the same sound, but I like that sound here, so I'm going to just use it. All right, so now we have the record. We're going to record this. All right, so make sure you have your, your count in, which is you go one, two, three, four, and then you can record. All right, so let's go. Two, three, four. Hold on. Because I took out musical typing. So let me see something. Musical typing. Shouldn't I take it out? Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. Let's go now. Two, three, four. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, that's all we need. And then now let's hear it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And if we don't like that sound, we can always do this. If you don't like that sound, you can search for a sound. So let's do this and join these up. Let's join them. All right. Actually, let me go back in there. Piano roll. Is it, um, come on, P? No, is it just P? All right. Just P. Now come up, all right, here we go. Let's take mm -hmm. this one out and this mm -hmm. one. Definitely quantize it. Quantize this one also. Make sure say it start at the time. Good. There we go. And now, if we don't like that sound, we'll go back to Arcade. And then we'll keep trying to find the sound that we like. I can't believe it. I Or Ranky. So see, I made a mistake. My it in the wrong key was just G minor. It's supposed to be just G minor, and I had it as G flat minor. All right, so let's go. Still searching. Soon find it.
not that's not sound bad. We can keep searching. Uh, Find it, soon find it. All right, we're gonna work with that and we can change the voice sound. So we're gonna work with that, um, and then we're gonna put like a um, a EQ on the, the, the Vox sound. So let's put an EQ, so we'll take out the high end. Bring it to like 1K, take out the low end, and bring it to about 200. Let's hear that. All right, so we're going to just use that <clears throat> as an example for the, for the video. And then we're just going to put it throughout the whole beat. And then we're going to hear how it sound, and we're going to put a reverb on it too. So let's put a reverb on it. And then we can turn on the reverb a little bit. And if you don't like that sound, make a search again. If you don't like that sound, remember you not take your time and make the beat. So hear this. Okay. That no sound bad, you know. Hold on, here's this. Yeah. All right, let's go with this. Yeah. yeah. Dutty, Dutty, come, crow. Dutty. Mm. to know is um take out a little bit out of there that way you can hear the, the um reverse crash coming in and the crash zone and then we can take it out of here also that way you know it coming in and that's it so we'll just make a beat from a loop um make sure you guys like and subscribe if you like uh where where um where you're seeing um, put a comment below if you don't like it. Um, that's fine too. Um, and let me know what you guys want to see. All right? So, beat making Friday. This is the beat, you know. Simple. Let's go. So that's it, you know. Um, it still needs some more polishing, some more work, but this is just to show you can make a beat out of a loop. Um, you can make a drum pattern before, and then you can just import it back into a next project. All right. So I mean, some people gonna like this, some people not gonna like it, but just to show you, there's different ways of how you can make a, a dancehall beat or just a beat in general. All right. So. Make sure you like and subscribe, and until the next video, I'm out.